Taking question number 11 of exercise 2.2 from the chapter Inverse Trigonometric Functions. The question is we have to find the value of this expression. 10 inverse of 2 cos of 2 sin inverse of 1 by 2. Okay, so we have to find the value or we have to simplify this expression. Now, this expression seems to be a bit complicated but it is actually not. Okay, now to solve this, first of all, we are going to take the expression and in first step, we are going to calculate the value of sin inverse of 1 by 2. Okay, and on solving sin inverse of 1 by 2, this bracket would be simplified. Okay, now taking sin inverse of 1 by 2, we can write this as equal to sin inverse of sin pi by 6 because sin inverse of sin x is equal to x if x belongs to the closed interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 okay this means that we can write 1 by 2 as sine of something which is equal to sine of pi by 6 and this x should belong to this interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 that is the closed interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 okay and we know that sine pi by 6 is equal to 1 by 2 that is why we have written 1 by 2 as equal to sine pi by 6 so this gives me the value equal to pi by 6 so I'm going to place this value pi by 6 for sin inverse of 1 by 2 okay so I get this expression now this 2 and 6 can be simplified to give me pi by 3 so I'm going to obtain 10 inverse of 2 cos of pi by 3 cos pi by 3 is equal to 1 upon 2 so I get this as equal to 10 inverse of 2 into 1 by 2 Further, I can write this as equal to 10 inverse of 1. Now, 10 inverse of 1 can be written as 10 inverse of pi by 4, applying the same logic for calculation of the value of sine inverse of 1 by 2. Okay, so I get 10, in, uh, 10 inverse and 10 are going to cancel out. So, this will give me pi by 4, which is the required answer. Taking question number 12 of exercise 2.2 of inverse trigonometric functions. The question is find the value of cot of 10 inverse of a plus cot inverse of a. Okay, so we have to find the value of this expression. Now to solve this, we are going to take the expression and the question is very very easy. And uh, let us see why it is very easy because if we know this result 10 inverse of x plus cot inverse of x is equal to pi by 2. So we can write 10 inverse of a plus cot inverse of a as equal to pi by 2. So this gives me cot of pi by 2 and cot of pi by 2 is equal to 0. So this is my required answer. So this is how I'm going to solve this question. Friends, thanks for watching my video. To watch more of these super videos and for the latest updates, subscribe and like the videos on these channels on YouTube HSK Shiksha and Math Help by HSK. Thank you.